So let's come back and start with your group 16 elements. We have already completed 15. Then I gradually went into group 18. I wanted it to be on a lighter note. Now I've come back to group 16. The many reasoning questions in group 16. Let's start with the chapter. So in group 16, which are called as chalcogens, okay, right? Uh, that's the oxygen family. So group 16, the elements include oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium and polonium yes so all these oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium they're going they are called as chalcogens what are they called chalcogens that means chalcogens is something where the metal ore exists in the form of oxides and sulfide form if the metal the particular ore exists as sulfide form or the oxide form we, I, we call it as chalcogens done so in, in this particular chapter oxygen sulfur selenium tellurium we are going to let us see what are the to subtopics which you have to study for your exam and <coughs> let's first know that and then come back to the topic so we'll be learning about general trends which i've already drawn the table and kept ready for you then i'll be studying about one or two Two questions based on physical properties then i'll be gradually going into chemical properties where we have anomalous behavior of oxygen i already did this part anomaly anomalous behavior of fluorine anomalous behavior of oxygen so this video is already done done the next important thing i'll be showing you <coughs> what are the trends when uh, the reactivity of these compounds with hydrogen oxygen and halogens after that i'll be also teaching you the reactivity with oxygen let's see what what question what type of questions are asked in this then we'll be studying about simple oxides right i'll be teaching you what are simple oxides in that and i will also be teaching about compounds of oxygen that is simple oxides and ozone then after completing oxygen because only first two elements are there for your in uh, grade 12 after completing oxygen that is simple oxides and ozone i'll be com coming back to sulfur compound uh, sulfur element sorry that sulfur element i'll be teaching you allotropes of sulfur that is your <coughs> monoclinic sulfur or the plastic sulfur right uh, the uh, this in uh, like alpha and beta structures where you find needle shaped well I'll show you that also a prismatic recall we'll learn about allotropes of sulfur after that i'll be teaching you about sulfur dioxide and then i'll be teaching you uh, a sulfuric acid one more compound of sulfur that is sulfuric acid and i'll also be teaching you oxo acids but remember i'll be doing oxo acids topic like together for halogens i'll be doing uh, for uh, phosphorus and sulfur oxo acids there'll be one separate video and uh, i will not be doing along with this because oxo acids are very important i should teach you how to remember them so let's come back and start with uh, so group 16 so in group 16 when i see the configuration the general electronic configuration here as we have seen it is ns2 np4 right outer configuration so 4 plus 2 6 that means 10 plus 6 16 electrons are there so we call it as uh, uh, group 16 elements and chalcogens or if i come to say oxygen family because it is starting with oxygen done after this when i have to see the atomic and ionic gradient not, nothing much information as we very very well know <coughs> as we go down the group what will increase atomic size increases when atomic size so okay, atomic number increases first okay atomic number increases no much nothing much logic here to remember simple common term as atomic number increases what will happen to the size atomic size also increases down the group that that means polonium is a larger atom now, when i come to ionization enthalpy when the size is increasing ionization enthalpy automatically will be less isn't it yes so as we go down the group <coughs> as atomic size increases the size is becoming larger and larger nuclear force of attraction decreases so when atomic size increases with lesser energy i can pull out the electron so what is ionization enthalpy the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the outermost shell so when the size is larger the nuclear attraction also will be lesser so as atomic size increases i can say ionization energy will be less right so as we go down the group ionization enthalpy decreases larger the size of the atom lesser is energy to take out the electron done electron gain enthalpy okay, most of the students have doubt in this so what is electron gain enthalpy as the name suggests basically it is when an atom tries gain an electron that's so electron gain enthalpy again these are of two types 
positive electron gain enthalpy and negative electron gain enthalpy. So positive means what? So now we basically condition is an atom has to gain electron. Now suppose when I'm trying to add an electron into an atom, then that means I'm supplying that electron which should be added into the atom. And then I have to supply certain amount of energy. So then it is absorbing certain amount of energy that is called positive electron gain enthalpy. The amount of energy supplied to an atom to allow it to accept that electron is positive electron gain enthalpy. Now if I have to speak about negative gain enthalpy, here also it is a concept of adding electron only but here the energy is released. Energy is released when an electron is added to an atom. Done. So positive means when you are adding a supplying energy, negative means an electron energy is released. Both you should remember it is gaining. Atom will gain the electron though so these two concepts will happen. Done. Now when I have to speak about oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, thing, mostly oxygen when I have to see the first one, uh, uh, basically like everything rather, almost when I go down the group, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, when I go down the group, the electron gain enthalpy compared to uh, the negative note, it is positive, like that means it is less negative. So what am I trying to say? Uh, when I go down the group, <coughs> electron gain enthalpy becomes you can write any way it becomes less electron less negative or okay less negative or positive value it has positive value so that means uh, energy has to be supplied to the atom to gain that electron done so when it's applying the uh, atom uh, uh, energy to that particular thing slowly uh, we are uh, that uh, atom absorbs and it accepts that electron so one th important thing remember uh, for group 16 elements electron gain enthalpy is positive in nature done you know, we will get positive values so the electronegativity so basically we very well know what is electronegativity the ability to attract the shared pet done when i have to see the electronegativity of oxygen done so oxygen to polonium oxygen electronegativity is almost just 3.4 polonium electronegativity when I see it is 2 what are you observing right <coughs> in the polling scale as I go down the group from oxygen to polonium the electronegativity is decreasing okay now how are we relating electronegativity in metallic character now I said when the electronegativity is stronger that is higher it will drag the electrons and it will not allow it to donate and simple now when i come down to polonium electronegativity is only very less two so it will it will it's holding the electrons very loose enough so what will happen it can easily donate electrons when something is easily donating electrons that means metallic character is more or less donation of electrons is basic property of metals isn't it so remember important thing not basically polonium will take let us take tellurium also higher than this because that will become the uh, element deductive so remember as we go down the group electronegativity decreases point number one when it decreases ability to donate electron also increases when ability to donate electron increases that means metallic property increases down the group please try to understand the concept simple let us write all in words now right down the group okay let me create space en decreases en decreases means electron donating capacity increases that means down the group metallic character metallic character increases simple isn't it so these are your basic trends nothing no much logic here so simple and one more question asked why is the ionization enthalpy value of group 16 lesser than group 15 they may ask you this question so let's see in group 15 when i take what is outer configuration 15 it is ns2 np3 so what are you observing total uh, 3 plus to 5 it is half filled isn't it that is the main reason so group 15 you have half filled configuration half filled will obviously have higher energy because it is stable enough I require a lot amount of energy to break the bonds so simple answer is group 15 have half filled configuration half filled, are, half filled is stable hence high ionization enthalpy compared to group 16 only this question may be asked from your trends